Thanks for watching. And what makes this matrix so special? Watch this video to find out. In order to figure this out, let's calculate the eigenvalues. So let's do Muhammad Ali, so determinant of A minus lambda I, which is determinant of minus lambda, 1, 0, 0, 1, minus lambda, 1, 0, and then 0, 1, minus lambda, 1, and then 0, 0, 1, minus lambda, and what we can do, we can expand this along the first row. So this becomes minus lambda times determinant of minus lambda, one zero, and then one minus lambda, one, and then zero, one minus lambda, and then minus one, and then whoosh, and then one, one, zero, and then zero minus lambda one, and then zero, one minus lambda. And then we can continue expanding out those determinants. Yip, yip. So now let's expand this one along the first row. So what we have is minus lambda times minus lambda, determinant of minus lambda, and then one, one minus lambda, one, one minus lambda, and then minus one times the rest. So determinant of one, one, zero minus lambda. So that's on the one hand. On the other hand, this one is slightly easier to calculate because it's just the determinant of minus lambda, one, one minus lambda. And then we need to expand this out. So what we end up getting is minus lambda times minus lambda times lambda squared minus one, and then minus minus lambda, and then minus lambda squared minus one, and let's just expand this out. So we get minus lambda times minus lambda cubed and then plus lambda, plus lambda, and then minus lambda squared plus one. And then we get lambda to the fourth and then lambda plus lambda is two lambda times minus lambda. So minus two lambda squared and then minus lambda squared plus one, which in the end gives us lambda to the fourth minus three lambda squared plus one. And we need to set that equal to zero. Now, in order to solve this equation, you have two choices. One is either to let u be lambda squared and then use a quadratic formula, but here's actually a cooler trick, a cool pyan trick. Namely, what you can do, you can separate out one of the lambda squares. So we get lambda to the fourth minus two lambda squared plus one minus lambda squared equals zero which gives you lambda to the fourth minus two lambda squared plus one equals lambda squared. And the cool thing is this now becomes a perfect square because I believe we have lambda squared minus one squared equals lambda squared, which leaves us with two possibilities, either lambda squared minus one equals lambda or lambda squared minus one is minus lambda. And that tells us lambda squared minus one minus lambda is zero, or lambda squared plus one lambda minus one equals zero. And then you can solve this using the quadratic formula. So on the one hand, you get lambda is one, plus minus square root of five, 
square root of 5 over 2. Or lambda is minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2. And if you're an art enthusiast, or should I say a math art enthusiast, you may recognize those numbers precisely in terms of the golden ratio, because let's see what roots we have in the end. Because now we have the four eigenvalues, which we can write in terms of the golden ratio, because we had lambda was one plus square root of five over two, and that was the golden ratio. We have lambda is one minus square root of five over two, and that is precisely one over the golden ratio. You can calculate that. We have lambda is, let's just see if I have the order right, uh, lambda is minus one minus square root of five over two, which is minus the golden ratio, and lambda is minus one plus square root of five over two, which is minus one over the golden ratio. So how cool is that, that all the eigenvalues are related to the golden ratio? And even cooler than that, I'm not going to do it explicitly, but let me tell you what the eigenvectors are. If you want, just to write it in matrix form, we do have A is PDP inverse, where D is the matrix of eigenvalues. So in this case, phi 1 over phi minus phi and then minus 1 over phi and everything else 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0. And then what is the matrix of eigenvectors? It's really cool because you can write everything in terms of golden ratios. So P is 1, golden ratio, golden ratio 1. So that is for phi. For 1 over phi, we have 1, 1 over phi, 1 over phi, 1. For minus phi, we have minus 1, phi, minus phi, 1. And then last but not least, for minus 1 over phi, we have minus 1, 1 over phi, minus 1 over phi, and then 1. I mean, just take a second to admire how elegant this is. We're sort of almost beautifully symmetric, I would say. Wow. And last but not least, I do want to give you a little application of this. So where can you see this concretely? So I can really think of two instances where you can see this matrix. First of all, it does represent the following linear transformation. T, X, Y, Z, I don't know, W. Rep is, in this case, Y, X plus Z, Y plus W and then address Z. And kind of what this represents, so first of all, this is swapping. This is like a shear transformation. This is also like a shear transformation, and it's also swapping. So it's kind of weird how this swapping and shearing operation produces a golden ratio, which is very cool. Another thing I can think of is in terms of states. So if you have four states, one, two, three, four. So not quite a Markov chain because those don't add up to one, but kind of similar. And what this matrix represents is you start from state one and end up in state two. So everything in state one goes to state two. For state two, we have not this splitting up, 
but almost think copying two versions of itself. So two, almost like a cell, just like doubles and goes both to state one and to state three. Same thing for three, it goes both to state two and to state four. And finally, as state four goes all the way to three. So once again, not in terms of probabilities, but still kind of cool in terms of this, you know, doubling phenomenon. So this is what it represents. And once again, who would have thought that the golden ratio appears in this configuration? Isn't that crazy sometimes? All right, if you like this and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.